So here we are on the main street of Tromso. It is minus eight degrees Celsius today, although it actually feels like it's minus 12 according to the internet. On this street, you can book all of your tours that you need to. Most of the tourist stores and the, the tourist places are all right next to each other. During high season, I recommend you pre-book online because space is limited for a lot of the fun adventures you might do when you're here. You have reindeer feedings, visit to the Samai people, you have dog sledding, you have trips for the northern life. All that stuff, if you care, should be taken care of ahead of time. Good luck. My name is Igor Tatumko, explorer, adventurer, and a guy who ends up in some interesting places. With a degree in journalism and filmmaking, I travel to the ends of the earth investigating the greatest places in the world. This is Igor Travels the World. I just took the cable car. I'm at about 420 meters above sea level from down there in Tromso. The view up here is amazing. The mountains are gorgeous. It's actually not as cold as I thought. And I'm really excited. We're gonna go to the viewpoint. I'm gonna show you why this place is absolutely amazing. Alright guys, so I was told by my local friends here you must try these special hot dogs when you're here at what's arguably the world's smallest bar and restaurant. So right there, we got ourselves a reindeer and beef hot dog, ketchup mustard, beet salad, and uh, fried onions. Oh, let's try it. Mmm, it's out of this world delicious, oh my god. You can definitely taste the reindeer, but I gotta tell you that the crispy onion and the beet salad on top, oh my God, it's so good. You're also supposed to get a cup of hot wine with almonds and raisins on top. I'm not a wine guy, but with the raisins and almonds, it gives it a slightly different flavor, very nutty flavor. So when you're here, you must get these hot dogs. Oh, let's have another bite. Right now, we're feeding 300 reindeers. You can see they're all around me. Most of them are pretty friendly. Sometimes they get a little bit aggressive because it is lunchtime and I guess they all want to eat. Now, interesting fact, all reindeer in Norway are owned by the Samai people. It means nobody else can own them. And technically, although some are wild, they're still owned by the Samai. I've never seen so many up close and the white ones are especially cool. It's really, it's fun. It's really, really fun. Let's go feed some reindeer. So it kind of seems scary, but actually they're really friendly. Even though there's some pretty sharp horns that are inches away from my face. <laughs> it's lunchtime. So we're gonna try the reindeer meat. Reindeer stew. Probably too dark to see. Mm. 
Mm. It's really delicious. <laughs> Those of you who ate the reindeer stew, it's the Sami traditional dish or the reindeer stew, and it's called beetle. We serve it in big occasions like weddings and when someone is baptized or when it's a big celebration or something like that. The reindeer meat is actually really, really healthy for you because it contains omega-3, omega-6 and omega-9 and it only has 2% fat. Sami people live in four different countries. Norway, Sweden, Finland and Russia. In Norway we have about 50 to 60,000. We have one main Sami language in Norway and we have about uh, nine like dialects. What's up everybody? All night long I have been chasing the northern lights and finally about an hour east of Tromso we found the most amazing spot next to a fjord, one of the rivers here. And just behind me the northern lights are actually starting to come out. They're becoming very green and wide. It's almost a big band. Now you will not see it in the video because unfortunately I don't have a sensor big enough. In fact usually only high-end cameras can pick it up. However photographs are possible and I'm going to show you some really awesome ones. Enjoy this.